All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Cam Capone News. It's your boy Art. We have a very special guest. My guy, what's JC. Good? What, what do you go by, man? These days, what do you go by these days? You go by Turn Me Up, YC, Turn me up, YC, YC, I said JC, YC. My bad. I, you, you speaking something to my life, Jay Z, you know? Yeah, but no, nah, YC. YC, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a couple, um, I did my homework, so I really want to have a good conversation today, yeah. man. Thanks. So, uh, first off, congratulations, because when Appreciate I was doing it. research, I learned uh, you got Songwriter of the Year title. Yeah, yeah. Well, break that down for me. For somebody who doesn't know what that accolade means, like, what what, what do you, what can you do with that kind of accolades? Hey, as a, as a um, producer, it, like, means a lot mm -hmm. in the music, the music industry, like, as an artist, like, producers don't get recognized like artists. Mm -hmm. And so, me and my ASCAP, they had their own award show, show, and um, this shit like opened doors for producing art, like songwriters. And so, I don't call myself a songwriter, but I help make the music as a producer. I help finish the work. So, being under under as songwriter, you this shit mean a lot because I was tied up with Megan the Stallion, and this shit mean a lot. Yeah. So it was like, damn, this crazy. Yeah. So, nah, it mean a lot, and like. As that, as the producer side, mm -hmm. I finish the product. I get the product done. Like it's a difference between a beat make a beat maker and a producer. Okay. A beat maker just make the beat. They don't finish the job. As a producer, you make sure that song is completely done, cleaned up, and finished. Are like you there for the whole process? Who, who are some of, like? Give me an example of some people. I mean, I don't want to. Put you on the spot, but give me an example of some people you think are are beat makers and some that you consider producers. Cause I want, I just want to get a clear distinction of of the two. I ain't gonna lie, I love loop ma makers, okay. but they the new beat makers. Okay, loop makers are the new beat makers. If that makes sense, they are the new beat makers. As producers, bro, like I said, we make sure everything is done. And we stay there till it's done. Mm -hmm. But beat makers, they just send the loops and send the beats to email. This is what a beat maker is. Wow. Man, you where my manners, man? You in New York right now? Yeah, I'm in New York. You've been to New York a couple of times, right? Yeah, a couple. I love it. What is this round like? What does this feel like? It's different because the first time, some years back, like two years ago, mm -hmm. said New York was different for me because I was like, I feel like I tell everybody, when you get money, bro. Mm. It's a different side of the world. Mm. So back then when I was coming to New York, I didn't know what this world side of the world was. So it's like it's crazy. It's a new, new, new shit to me, bro. Yeah. Like it's a, it's it's unreal type shit. Yeah, I saw you post it on your Facebook. I was going through your Facebook and you said shit. leave your small <laughs> town. Like you you advise people leave your small town and go see the world. Yeah. What like doing that right now, what what have you realized that you like that you want to share with people about seeing the world so far? Now, I love where I'm from. I'm from Fed County, Moscow, 38057. I got to tell you, mm -hmm. I just got this checking on, but right. it's like, that mean a lot to me, but I know if I would have stayed out there mm -hmm. a long, more longer, this shit wouldn't do nothing but wow. make me safe yeah. in a comfort zone. Like I said, I just had a, a whole meaning about that with my team, my personal team. I'm building a label. Mm -hmm. So I just, the people that's on my label, bro, I just had a meeting with them, and I told them, I'm like, bro, if you comfortable, bro, get the fuck out. Hmm. <laughs> get the fuck out, fool. Like, we need to be uncomfortable to get where we need to go. Like, if you want to keep traveling and seeing these, this world shit, fool, like, I need you to be uncomfortable. Like, this is how I feel about this shit. If you comfortable, bro, it's not going to take you nowhere. You're going to get used to the same shit. It's going to be the same repeated cycle every time. Mm -hmm. Every time. You're going to keep just going in the circle until you change that. You got to be uncomfortable. This is how I feel about this shit. How did you get to that mind state, though? That doesn't just happen, right? Where I'm from. <laughs> wow, okay. Like, like Memphis, a lot of people know Memphis. A lot of people know Tennessee. Mm -hmm. But people don't know what Fed County is. Fed County is a small town out of Memphis. Mm -hmm. It's out of Memphis. It's like 20, 30 minutes. That shit, like, that, like I told, like I just said, I said a couple of hours ago, I said, that was made me. That what made me humble. Mm -hmm. Me going back there, I don't want to go back there no more. Because it ain't nothing back there. It's not nothing. Like, nothing. It's not a Walmart. It's not a nothing. Like, my cameraman knows. Like, it's nothing out there. So it's like, 
me looking at that image, I don't know, only time I go back there is when I give back. And that what keep me humble. That what keep me going. Like, nigga, hey, if you fuck up now, hey, yeah, gonna be back there. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm staying humble and keep going. Let's talk about where you from, man. Like you said, help me pronounce it. Where, where, how you Fayette from? County. Fayette County, okay. Yeah, Fayette. So, like, I, I know you told a story before. Like, yeah. In high school, you were producing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, what I want to know is, you know, as a young man in, mm -hmm. in high school producing, yeah. what else were you doing? It wasn't just all I was DJing. Music. You was DJing, yes. Yeah, like, like what people don't realize, I was playing drums since I was four years old. Like, I was playing drums when I got 13. I was um, playing piano. And when I got out of high school, shit, I was just trying to find new shit. Like, I wanted to be the nigga DJ Khaled. Mm -hmm. like, I wanted to be the man, like, to put people on type of shit. And then after that, that was going, that was like my senior year in high school. And then after that shit, I um, picked up on making beats. And so everything just came together as one. So, like, guys, I feel like guys just knew, like, you finna play drums at this age. And then you finna play piano at 13. And then when you make it to high school, you finna start DJing, learn how to DJ. And then when you get out of high school, you finna have everything together. So you just gotta put this shit together. Yeah. This is how I feel. Yeah. Well, earlier you were talking about how uh, the environment, where you're from, yeah. the, the, like, dangerous, basically. We, we want to put it like that. But yeah. I wanted to know, like, how did you not become a, a, a product of your environment? What, what yeah. helped you? I was just different. Okay. Like, I knew I was different. Like, I had to put it in my mind, like, you got the keys out here. Like, you got what people want out here. So you got to move different. You got to act different. You got to know where you're going, and you got to just sit there and just plan this shit out, and you're going to know where you're going. But we, everybody don't know their destination in life. So we just got to stay still and just, like, I believe in God. So I'm a real believer in God. So when that man tell me to move, I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. If he don't, I'm going to stay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay still. So for me staying still, bro, he showed me a lot of things in life to just keep going. He's like, stay still, I got you, bro. Like, I talk to God like he a nigga. Like, people don't understand it. Like, you got to have a real, you got to have a real conversation with God. You got to keep, he got to be your best friend. So, like, you got to say uncomfortable things mm -hmm. to him to just like, hey, listen, man, hey. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. doing this now. Mm -hmm. Just show me what I need to do mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. So it's like, boom. No, you make a good point though. Uncle Murder got the, that song, uh, God, I fuck with you. Yeah. I like that song. I woke yeah. up this morning, God, I fuck with you, nigga. Like, people, it might sound harsh to certain people, but you got to talk to God how you gotta you talk. Speak. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to. Yeah. And like, people don't understand it. Like, people don't understand that, like, you can have a real relationship with that man yeah. if you just be real with you. Be, re be comfortable with him like you be comfortable with your niggas. Mm -hmm. It's what I learned. So back back to the upbringing. I know uh, on the record how I get here. You talked about you know. See how you know about it? Cause I listen to the record. <laughs> okay. But you talked about your pops not being around. So you know you being the man that you are now. Yeah. How did the absence of your father being away? How did that impact you growing up? Yeah, bro. You said you gonna have the best interview. I think this is the best interview. But my when I was young, shit, I didn't have nobody but my granddaddy. Yeah. And my grandma and my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom was working a nine to five. She was working at Exxon. I never forget that shit. She was working at Exxon, going to college, going to Exxon. But my grandma and, them and my granddaddy raised me, mm -hmm. so it's like, man, my dad went around. Yeah. I said child support was cool, but this shit didn't make the move right. Mm -hmm. Like people won't understand that what I'm saying. Like as an artist, but I'm also a producer, and I'm just being newer to the artist type, the artist role type shit. So it's like. Man, that just speak what it is. Like, my dad went around. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat. And, like, I had a lot of hate toward my dad. But I just had to realize, bro, I can't get that time back. I can't get it back. Yeah. So it's like, now, nah, it's like, I say what up to him, but I ain't got to be cool with you, bro. I'm in a good place. I'm good. So in the, growing up, that affected you, but now you kind of... It like I ain't gonna lie, was, all the all the bullshit that he was doing, it's like I started seeing it when I got older. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like when I got in high school, I started seeing like damn fool, it might 
That might have take time just giving me money. Cool. Nah, mm-hmm. bro. I need you to be here. Wow. Like, nigga, I had a football game. Yeah. Nigga, I had goddamn graduation. Nigga, you didn't show up. Wow. So it's like, son speak for itself. Yeah, no, nah, for real. Yeah. Also, I learned you, you know, you went back and you bought your childhood house, right? How did that made you feel, man? Man, that shit like, damn. Yeah. It's 1% of my community, so I got to buy. Wow. 98% more. <laughs> got to not. I got to buy it. What did you do with it? Shit, I flipped it in from the remodel. I'm starting, like, as we speaking right now, the house is getting remodeled right now. Mm-hmm. Back where I'm from, we getting, this shit getting done. It's getting done. I want to I wanna start making six and eight houses. Okay. Like, folks that can't afford a $2,000 house or just kind of for two thousand dollar rent, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And just put it on six and eight, bro, and just sold the block up. This is how I'm feeling. You getting money, nigga. Hey. <laughs> Take a game hey, money, what man. Pe- what people don't understand, yeah. the rap shit moves slow. Wow. So when you get that rap money, you got to flip that money. You got to you gotta you gotta think about your future kids, bro. Mm-hmm. The kids like kids that you don't got, you gotta freak you gotta you gotta think about this shit. You gotta think about your future. Is how I feel about kids right now? No, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Equity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, just damn, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying equity, bro. Yeah, that 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 is important. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I ain't thinking about no kids right now, but what, what? equity though. I'm uh, I believe in equity, bro. I'm think I'm thinking about nigga. When I do have kids, they're gonna like they're gonna have somewhere to stay. They ain't got nowhere to go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like this shit gonna be generations. Mm-hmm. Type of shit, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, nah, that makes sense. So how does your family feel about everything that's going on, all the success? Hey, one thing I can say, money make you see another side of the world, bro. That's Talk all I can it. say. Yeah. It make you see a lot of things different. As, I don't call my, I don't know, bro. It's just different. It's just different. Mm-hmm. Like, I see shit different now. Now, you you do, man. And I, I wonder if that if that has to do with the fact that you know you didn't smoke or you didn't drink and you no. kind of just was clear on things. Yeah, clear, yeah. clear. I'm clear as hell on things. Like, like I see shit before it happened. Wow. Like I can see shit before it happened. Like I can see it in my mind before it happened. Like this shit crazy. It's what, crazy. What made you want to make that decision? Cause I don't, I don't smoke or drink either. Or smoking so. or drinking. It's just how I was raised. Type of shit. Like yeah. my mom was. She a missionary. And she just kept a nigga on, like, she kept a nigga tight. She kept, hey, fuck up if you want to. Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> got some consequences coming behind this shit. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. When I got out of school, I started experiencing this shit. But I knew it wasn't for me, though. I knew it wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at it. It wasn't for me. But when you don't do that shit, this shit bring you, like, another, like, this shit just... Open your mind up some more type of shit. Yeah. Type of shit. Now, I, I, I keep saying your story is unique because it is. Like, another thing that, that kind of was inspiring to me mm-hmm. was hearing you talk about how you used to be broke. Like, shit. that story is like, wow. <laughs> and then you telling yourself, man, I never want to feel this way ever again. Like Never. Yeah. Never. Man, at one point in time, bro, I couldn't afford a five dollar piece. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> You got the girl with you and everything, like. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. you dug deep, nah, for real, real talk. Man, at one point in time, I never forget this day. I was in Kyrieville, Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. I never forget, man. We were going to get something, to eat, bro. I had negative a hundred dollars in my account, God. bro. <laughs> and the day, I in the sad day about, I had to call my mom to ask for some money. She was out of town. Yeah. Bro. That shit was crazy, but yeah, I told them some of your spirit, man. I, hey, I, I, I made a vow to God, bro. I said, hey, God, hey, listen, man, I never go broke again. Like, I don't care if I gotta sacrifice my body, bro. I'm never going broke again. Facts, I'm not. Can't do it. What, well, but what did you decide to do in that moment? Was that work? Okay, and work. What specifically? Music, Music? beats, okay. making beats. I'm finna go hard. Everything from this day forward, I'm going hard. I'm not making any excuse. I'm go keep going. I'm. I don't care how hard the road is. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep going because I know some at the end gonna make this shit better. And did you start seeing changes? Or? Shit, <laughs> did I? Man, yes. Yeah. I seen a lot of changes. I seen a lot of shit that that changed the way I think and the way I walk, bro. I seen a lot. Like uh, what specifically? What do you think changing your life when that mindset? 
completely changed and you kind of fo were focused, I guess. Man, my way was, I ain't gonna lie. What I seen, the first thing I seen that I knew I was meant is when I started putting faith in God for like, I don't know about y'all, I don't know about you, bro. But when I grew up, I was born, I was raised in church. So, you know, a nigga was forced to go to church. But I didn't know God until I graduated high school. So it was like, damn, fool. Mm. A nigga got a, damn, like you really showing yourself to me right now. So, that, that was the first step. Then everything else just fell in place. No, what you're saying is true. There's a difference in actually yeah. knowing God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's like you crazy. think you know God, but <laughs> at a young age you really don't know. You really God don't know until, until you, you go through some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like real yeah. talk until you until you I feel I tell I tell everybody around me like the best lesson is when you go through it yourself. Wow. When you when you go through it yourself, like physically, like when you go through it. Not from when you hear it from somebody. When you go through, you experience it. That's yeah. why. That's why everyone passes is so different. Shit, crazy. One person can't tell you how you know your life is gonna change. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. Real talk. And has your being that you are a God fearing man right now, mm -hmm. as you would say, would you say that? Nah, facts, bro. Do you think I want to go back? And I know you know, you probably don't want to stay on the topic, but do you think a conversation with your with your pops might? be better now that you kind of have a better senses and you you know you understand yourself a little bit you understand god you understand god god is about forgiveness mm -hmm. you know he's about relationships mm -hmm. does that change anything with with your pops i mean yeah i mean i go back to him i forgave him this is the best thing i could do when do you think when did you came to that conclusion of forgiveness Shit, you want to know really last year okay i got i forgave him last year like I can't be stuck on what you didn't do. Like, if you want to sit down and talk to me, I'm going to sit down and talk to you. But that don't mean I have to be cool with you. That don't, that don't mean it. Mm. That don't mean I have to be cool with you. It's just I respect you. All right, cool. Go on about today. You ain't getting what I made. You're not getting nothing. Wow. That's how I feel. You're not getting nothing. I don't have to give you nothing. Has that conversation happened? I know it happened. No. My boy, you know. <laughs> no, it, it haven't happened because, I mean, my dad a little older. Uh, and, you know, like, I'm going to be 100 and I'm going to keep it like this. My dad treat me like a nigga on the street. What do you mean? <laughs> nigga, that might not treat me like no son. No son. He treat me like, what's up? Walk on by the day. If I see him at the store right now, he going to treat me like, what's up? Wow. Go by my day, bro. So you never really had that? No. Wow, man. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man, never been no graduation. Man, never been no birthday party, nothing. Yeah. Nothing, so. I'm with you, man. I feel like we bonded right now. Nah, real talk. I'm real with talk. You. I like I it. No, no. She's getting real never, serious right now. No, nah, man. I ain't never had that with my pops either. You feel me? I was never around. So, nah, like, damn, I it. feel what you're saying. Nah, like, real talk. Yeah, just hearing you say that. Hearing you talk about how you just forgive your dad. Nah, I haven't even forget. came to that yet. you want to know some real shit? I don't know if this parental advisor. <laughs> nah, you go ahead. Some real shit, bro. It was at a point of time, bro. When I used to tell my partners, my niggas around me, man, I don't give a fuck if my dad died. Fuck him. I said, fuck him. What the fuck you do for me? So, man, I had to just get this shit, the hatred out of my heart. Because I can't do nothing to the past, but I can make the future right. And know on my end that I'm straight. It's on your end. You got to work on you. So uh, let's do let's transition real quick, right, mm -hmm. uh, to the music side. So when things are picking up, mm -hmm. uh, throughout all your your interviews and conversation that you have, mm -hmm. you give Demula his flowers a lot for his uh, impact yeah, in your different. life. Uh, but the 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 crank crank the, up the crank up yeah. shit with the remix with Bag and Stunner for Vegas. Vegas. I know that was kind of when things started picking up, right? This this when I knew I said. Damn, this shit can take me a long way. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Man, we did that video in New York. Oh, word. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No cap. Oh, damn. Okay, okay. It was the first time I ever, like, New York was the first time I ever went out of town. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> she crazy. I, I, I remember you saying that. You said they flew you to New York. Now they flew me to New York. Like English Head, Zebo. Man, they flew me to New York. That's when y'all did the video? Yes. Wow. Head them called me. It, I'll never forget this day. This is when I first started. They called me at like 3 in the morning. They was like, hey, you trying to come to New York? I said, hell yeah, let me come to New York. I'm from, man, I'm still stuck in the hood, bro. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, take me to New York. So I said, they flew me to New York. Just the first time I ever I met Moneybag, yo. And then while we was out there, this is when D-Moolah wanted to do the video mm -hmm. with Bad. Bad hopped on the remix. And Stone for Vegas came along like that. We was out there about a whole week. But like the third day, we met Stoner. That shit was crazy. Like when you heard he said something, there was Stoner for Vegas on my tag. Really? Yeah. This The same same week. This the day Stoner for oh, Vegas shit. got me the tag. Yeah. Shit crazy. Shit crazy as hell. So how did, how did that hold that moment where uh, the, the remix is out mm -hmm. and you and Bag are building a relationship? Right. How, how did that moment strengthen your relationship with him? See, it was just a natural thing. Like, see, after we came back to New York, he had gave me a new laptop. Like, this a real nigga. He gave me a new laptop. Like, my, he knew my laptop was fucking up in New York. He gave me a new laptop. He said, I don't know you, bro. But, huh, here you go. So as soon, as soon as I got the laptop, I went to work. And about, like, a couple of days later, I had to meet Head and them with some business. I had to meet Head and them. And um, I said, bad, let me play a beat for you. I played a beef on, he said, bruh, three o'clock every day. Meet me at the studio every day. From that day forward, we've been locked in ever since. It was like four years ago. Mm. And four years ago, yeah. You you did tell the story that when y'all met, your laptop crashed. Yeah, right? yeah, that shit was fucking up. I know that shit must have hurt. Man, <laughs> yeah, hey, I was embarrassed. Yeah. Like I was embarrassed. You felt like it was in there, that was it for you? Man, hey, I said, man, that shit is not fucking with me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shit fucking up. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was a whole different story. Like, man, I'm finna buy you one fool, where hey, you hard. So, shit, from that day, bro, we just locked in. So you still got a chance to prove yourself, like, yeah. you know, the laptop. Yeah, 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 okay. He said, pull up every day, 3 o'clock, p.m. Every day at the studio, I miss. We working. Yeah. Every day. Was South Memphis? Nah, it was just, it was it was a nice studio downtown for you. It's like, nice little studio, they just opened up. Me versus me was made in the hood, though. Mm -hmm. We was made in the hood, me versus me. Me versus me was made in the hood. This shit was crazy. So let's transition to that, because that's that that's when it really Man, started. I ain't gonna lie. That right there changed my life. Yeah. Like, I didn't know it was going to change my life. This shit changed my life, though. That was the start of changing my life. How? how break it down. How did it change your life? It was a single. It was a single hit, and everybody was waiting on bad to drop. And I ain't know, like, like he had just dropped the album. It was like three years ago, time served. Okay. He just dropped the album. He was like, uh, man, I just need, just need you to make some shit, fool. We in the hood, getting that, that gutter feeling. So I just made this shit. And uh, he was like, bruh, this it right here. Mm -hmm. So soon I seen this shit going up. I'm like, damn, for this shit is it. Because you'll never know when it's a hit or not. You'll never know. So when you know, you know. Oh, they have I always had that conversation with people because people yeah. seem to think they have an ear for when they know a music is a hit or not. I, yeah, you, I, I seem to disagree with that. I don't think anybody know when stuff is a hit. No, nah, nah, you not going to know, bro. You not going to know. You just hope for the best. This is yeah. why I look at it now. This is why I'm learning. Like, you'll never know it's a hit. You'll never know. But once when, when, when you see it's a hit and you see it get to the right person's hand, mm -hmm. ah, you know it's a hit. It's over with. This is off topic, but so what's the purpose of an A and R? Because that's what they're for, right? To yeah. to kind of determine what the consumer is gonna like. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I, I seem to disagree with that. I don't think one person I agree can identify. With I, I agree with you, bro. Because like I feel like A and R's right now, yeah, they dry it up. Okay, <laughs> right now, right now, like if you know the engineer. Mm -hmm. You don't know what where that shit'll take. A and R's give you the run around and shit. They really don't like they can't tell a, they can't tell an artist what to do. Mm -hmm. Like you might can, but this still his career. So as as that bro, it's just dried up right now. So we really have a relationship with the engineer. 
or which I ain't gonna lie, with the A and R this close to an artist, bro, or with the engineer. It's I, it's the only way I see you right now. So if you have to speak some words into the, these kids that are coming up who want to be on the music on the artist side or on the uh, producing side, All right? How would you let them know what what to focus on? Cause they rush for the hit. Yeah. Instead of just trying a, to do I the see work. A, I see a lot of them right now. I see a I see a lot of them right now that's trying to rush a hit. You can't rush a hit. You can't rush a hit, bro. You can't do it. It's not it's not in your power to do it. It's like uh, I I just say, bro, you just gotta keep working. You gotta work. Like you can't. This shit is not giving. This shit you gotta work. What does work look like? At least for you, from your eyes, what do they look like for you? Yeah, <laughs> work. My my work schedule right now is I wake up five in the morning every morning. Don't go to sleep till probably like four in the morning. You wake morning. up at five in the morning? Yes. My man. Work good. Like, what, what can we get done at 12 8, in p.m.? Mm. What can we get done working up at 12 p.m. or 10 a.m., fool? Mm. Shit, I'm working up at five in the morning every morning. I don't care if I went out last night, bro. Mm. I'm finna work. I'm finna get up. I don't care if I went to sleep at three o'clock. I'm waking up. My body's so trained to wake up at five in the morning. The latest I get up is six o'clock. It's the latest. But I'm finna get up and work. I'm finna get up like I'm finna see what's on the schedule. I'm finna see. Okay, bet we we finna man, we finna make beats today. I right, bet we making beats today. Yeah, we finna go marketing today. We finna go marketing today. Like I'm, my my body train like that, bro. This so, work. So you wake up. I'm setting the, I'm setting the scene in my head. So you wake up, and I'm assuming you know a, a, a God fearing person like you. You pray. Come on now. I then, tell I tell Jesus thank you every morning, <laughs> every morning. Yeah. And then what? And then what else? Like, are you? I do that. I do that, man. I do that and shit. I fucking man. I go in the studio. Like I go in the studio, and just work until I go work out. I go work out. See, like nine o'clock in the morning, and then after work out, so I come right back, make sure I ought to be in the hell, and then I get back to work. Like, I'm working every day. Yeah. Like some days I might not feel energetic to um make beats, but I'ma still make some beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you gotta water your plant, bro. You got to water your gill. So yeah, something gonna come out this shit. You somebody I mean? said once it, it might not be the most you know glamorous night. Yeah. When you go to the studio, yeah. you might not see the magic. Yeah. But it's just the idea of being there that sometimes. No effects. You know. Effects. Real effects. Yeah. Nah, facts. They saying real facts. Nah, for sure. Now let, let's get to the to the business side side of things because, well, uh, as a young producer mm -hmm. who's not the Metro Boomy, who's not the the Tay Keith, like how difficult was it getting placement in all these major projects? Right place at the right time. Talk about it, <laughs> man. Hey, man, I was um working on bag bag album. I was working on his album. We were working on Gangster Pain. And um, she Pooh Shiesty just got signed. Mm -hmm. So I just walked in the room, Pooh Shiesty. I was like, everybody know each other from Memphis, bro. We just moved this shit to Atlanta. So she, man, he just got signed today. I wasn't playing on playing no beats for him or nothing. So I was just making some beats on my new laptop. I had bought a MacBook, and um, Shiesty was like, "What's they playing your ear, bro? What, what's that? I fuck with that." And then he said, send this shit over. It was about like, it was about two versions of that song, Back in Blood, it was two versions of it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was two versions. Like, I had to change the bass line to this shit, like, to make this shit hit hard. I changed the bass line to it. And he was like, damn, fool, this shit hit. And then about like three weeks later, I had went back home for a minute. I came right back. He was like, I let, I let a little dirt hop on the song. I said, let me hear this shit, play this shit. I kept playing this shit. And then as soon as he dropped the audio version, it was like 18 million. And 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 do nothing till he dropped it the first the beginning of January. He mm -hmm. his shit went crazy. Like two wow. years ago. Like, his shit was crazy. So through bag section, you got the connection. With with Dirk, yeah. And then he put Dirk on the bag and blood. Man, yeah, shit crazy. Wow. And then like, I ain't gonna lie. By like the week this song was the song dropped. We yeah. had did why Keisha were back. Okay, we did, yeah. So let me ask: Is the the back and blood connection? Is that how you got the Golden Child with with Dirk? No. How did that How did that happen? 
Shit, hit maker. Oh, okay. Yeah, hit hit maker, man. Me and hit maker real close. So that's like a brother to me. Like we was just in um Vegas together long. Like we was just in Vegas a couple months ago. We was in Vegas together and um he was just like, I need a pack. Mm-hmm. And then shit, I sent him a pack. It was some old beats though. And so shit, he was like, um, hey, fool, we gotta jump with Dirk. I need the I need the session file. And shit, that was like Dirk last single on the album before the album dropped. So that's how Golden Child came along. She crazy. That's one of my yo, Toby she almost insulted my intelligence, yo. <laughs> Toby almost insulted my intelligence, yo. Yeah. She was like, uh uh, she brought up your name and she was like, you know who that is? Man. Like I like like seven two two zero wasn't one of my favorite albums, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah. you know how people play with yeah. you like that. She a lot, a lot, with you, lot. a lot of people don't know I was on Baby album. Yeah, you did perfect timing, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah it's it another one too, right? <laughs> yeah, it was two, it was two, right? From yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was two. Yeah, I said, Toby, come on, man. <laughs> play with. But uh, back back to just the placement stuff. What I wanted to know is, has have you ever sent out a record and it's been like, nah, this this get get that kind of feeling from the big names. Has that ever happened? No, nah, it never happened. Like I'm still like no one's ever rejected you sending out a pack. Nah, cause you going like like you gonna fuck with it, you ain't. And like I'm gonna keep seeing, I'm gonna keep seeing you shit till you fuck with it type shit. Unless you like, you know what I'm saying? Like unless we in the studio, we making up some shit like. Really, when I work with artists, like anybody, bro, I like to cook up in front of your face. We're going to get the vibe together. Not when I see you something, like you might not fuck with it. But when I sit there and make it in front of you, you're going to fuck with this shit. <laughs> you're going to fuck with it, for sure. And I know the industry is the industry is crazy. So how, as a, as a young producer, how, was yeah. it, how hard was it to get your money, man? Or get the right money? Because I, I know how to get hey. you go. <laughs> The best, the best, the best, the best lesson I learned was going through it myself, okay. learning the industry myself, learning like real situations that I had to go through to learn the music industry. This is, it, it was hard, most different, mm-hmm. the most different. It was learning with the right people, with the right team, bro, that shit happened. They ever try to play you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, they try to low about me. Mm. But I feel like when you got weight to your name, yeah. It's different. That's what I feel like. When you got to wait till your name, it's different. Like, they going to be so generous and nice to you, but when you ain't got nothing under your name, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you like $1,500 and do it, Yeah. I mean, you said you've accepted, you know, some shit like that before, though. Yeah, I have. So it was just, is that a way to get through the door kind of thing? Or it was just, just like, big, I Just keep money. the relationship. Okay. Just how it was. Keep the relationship. And like, yeah. But now it's, it's, it's now you know your worth. Yeah, you got to yeah. stand. You got to stand on ten with yeah. these labels, bro. You got to, like, you got to stand on ten. Like, you got to stand. Like, if I want thirty, and producer like me, bro, I know I got a lot more to come. Producer like me, bro, I'm gonna stand on my price because I know my worth. I know what I done did. But like, if you a upcoming producer, bro. You might have to accept it twenty five hundred or fifteen hundred. You might, you might have to. Yo, so look how rude Toby is. Yeah. <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> Toby is crazy. Nah, real dog. All right, so go go back to what you're saying. You but if you was an upcoming producer, bro, you might have to accept it fifteen hundred. You might get them for thirty five. But try your luck. But mm-hmm. yeah. So let's let's now let's come to the present right now because. You're you're having this kind of transitional phase right now where you're being the artist now and you're yeah. on that journey. So yeah, why did you want to go this route? What what when did that switch? For Man, you? I put this shit together. I said I can make fifty million now produce, and you did it. I can make it. I ain't made it yet, but I know I'm a seven figure guy. Okay. But I said if I can make if I can get the fifty million off producing, I know I can make fifty million now. Or artist, like I know, like if to me to sacrifice myself and put myself out there, I'm gonna show you how I got some right out of the year. I'm gonna show you how I got some right out of the year. And when just just because I was just sitting around, no, I'm gonna show you how I got some right out of the year. So, man, it's just a big phase, big step that I'm doing. 
I just want to have fun. I want to have fun with this shit. You got to always have fun with music. Like, we can't, like, I know it's a job to this, but it's also still fun to this. Mm -hmm. Like, this the first thing, this our first look. Like, if that makes sense. We got to have fun and shit. Yeah. So, uh, what are you working on right now? Shit. That's coming out. Man, I got, I got a, a um, song with Glow Really in Bag tomorrow that's dropping. And I'm working on a lot tomorrow of shit. Tomorrow as in uh, January 12th? January 12th, okay. 12th, yeah. January 12th. It's dropping. It's on what you want. And then, man, I just got done. I just got done doing a video with Rollo Rodriguez. Yeah. Absolutely. As an artist. That's Atlanta, right? Yes, Atlanta. Yeah. Four Park is full of baby you now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just got done doing a song with them. And um, no, I'm getting comfortable with this artist shit, bro. Yo, I'm gonna off topic real quick. I'm gonna sound so stupid. I was two day years old when I Learn that that's what four PF means because because you just said four pack as well. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, everyone else knew that. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, I was that. today years old. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. You just said it, and I was like, oh shit, four pack and four PF. Yeah, okay. real talk, real talk. My bad. My bad. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. So you're work. you the artist side of you. You're putting out a lot of stuff. It's involving, bro. Yeah, people. like it's involving. Like I want to put out one song, and see what the people fuck yeah. with. Yeah. Seem like the response is good. Yeah, it's fuck with it. I fuck with it. Are you working on any body of work that people can? Um, I said you never know. I'm working on a producer album for sure. Like I'm working on that for sure. Like I'm working on that for sure. A lot of people don't know who Turn Me Up YC really is. Like a lot, a lot of people know the tag, but they don't know the face. So me putting my face out there more is going to bring more people. So. I go, it's like, yeah, I'm working on an album for sure, for the people, for sure. Yeah. As so, an artist and producer, let, like, you never know. Let's let's end it like this, man. I want to know two things. Staying off what you just said, mm -hmm. um, what what are you doing to, I guess, familiarize people with who you are? Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess my last question is, also, what are you doing to help evolve the Memphis scene over there? I said, Memphis ain't on fire right now. Like, that shit on fire. We, hate to say it, we the new Atlanta, bro. Like, niggas, everybody that's dropping, bro. That's hard, man. That's that's tough to say. I don't know. Nah, I'm telling you. Like, you gotta when, think about I, the listen, people listen, Atlanta listen, had, though. Listen, you can't do I that, fuck, though. Listen, 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 what? Listen, listen, I fuck with Atlanta. <laughs> but out of the last six months, mm. who been coming up? We talking about Dirk still been going. Bro, listen, Dirk ain't from Atlanta. Dirk from Chicago. Oh, Dirk is from Chicago. <laughs> baby, baby, what we baby? But we talking about you talking about upcoming. Oh, you mean upcoming? Yes. But who's who? Uh, who Memphis got? Glorilla's got Glorilla. Glorilla. Cleo, Cleo. We got back. We got. Now you said upcoming. No, you said upcoming. So stick to your words. You uh, said upcoming. Okay, big, thir okay. big thirty. Big thirty no, been no, in the game no, for a minute. No, no, no. no, thirty been in the game. Thirty you got, is scoring yeah, them. Gloss up. You got gloss up. You got AR the Walk dog. Walk dog. Thirty he, scored. All them been in the game missing, for a minute. They been he like our cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, they don't count. They don't count. Nah, they been in the game for a minute. I'm talking no, about like they fresh. They haven't been in the game in a minute. They ain't been in a year. I, I don't know, man. I can't give you that. Gloss up for sure. She, I'll give you gloss up. Hey, yeah, 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 I'll she give just you. got signed 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I seen that. So, big homie G, Tick. All right, so realize. He's <laughs> supposed to be out of my flag, man. <laughs> 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 what's up, what's up, but it's, I ain't going to lie. It's, it's like it's a matching battle. Like, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They both of them doing their thing, but I feel like Miffy's having the hot producers in pro artists, bro. Right now, facts. Brat, Big Brat from from Memphis. She's no, she's from Chattanooga, right? But listen, yeah, she's different. Sound. He kids that did some shit ain't never happened in Memphis. What's that? He just man blew an artist up, Glorilla. She, they both from Memphis, bro. Mm. Like, they both from Memphis. Like these dudes going crazy in Memphis, bro. You can't forget about the legendary Ty Keith, bro. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I see what you're saying. I just think. That comparison know, is too know, heavy. Know. It's just too heavy. Cause yeah, it's, it's going to be a battle, bro. Fuck who's coming now, okay? okay. Fuck who's coming now. Let's look at just collectively, right? Okay. Who's all came okay. from Atlanta. 
That's that's too much to just it's say. It's too much, is. but you guys to understand the originals of these shit. Three season mafia, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangsta Boo, rest in peace to us. Oh yeah. Like like they paid away for Atlanta, bro. It's my opinion. Yeah. Like, y'all got a lot of shit out they got a lot of shit in Atlanta too, bro. But Miffy gave you that South Sound, bro. Like real talk. They gave you that South Sound. Man. I enjoyed chopping it up with you, man. Uh, like you I said, said in the beginning, I'm going to say it again. Congratulations on your success. Congratulations appreciate on you. everything you're doing. I uh, wish you nothing but the best, man. No, I you know, appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate let them know. Let them know. Camera's right there. Just let them know where they can follow you on, on the socials and how they could. I, I know you got like the one song is on YouTube, right? It's yeah. not on streaming services? No, 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 no. Now I'm streaming. Well, nah. let them know where they could go stream that, though, because it's a, it's a good vibe to it. Hey, it's your boy Term Your YC. You can find me at Term Your YC everywhere. Is it? Blur. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to ask you to do the tag, but I ain't going <laughs> <nah. laughs> to. Nah. I ain't going to do it, man. I ain't going to do it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping you was going to do. You want me to do that? Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm not the artist. <laughs> you want me to do that? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. What's 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 the record called again? On What You On. I produced it with Drum Guy and Sky Diddy. On What You was it? On What You On. On What You On? Yeah. Oh, that's the shit that, that they they were promoting? Oh, that... Oh, that shit slap, yo! You did that. <laughs> that shit slap. That record slap. I, yeah. I. Right, right, uh, so before we get out of here, man, we gotta let everybody know. On what you on is out right now. Cause this interview, before this interview dropped, the record will be out. That's yeah. bag. That's Glorilla. That's you. Congratulations, Produced man. Produced by Scott Diddy, YC, and Drum God. This shit. Boom. Quick, quick info though. Like, uh, uh, before we go, I know I just said we're wrapping up, but. Can you give a little details on how that came about before we had before we got I would with, with the record? Yeah. Man, shit. My pulled up my email back. Like like last year been like a different year for me, like traveling the world more without like just being me type shit. Mm -hmm. Just pulling up on artists and shit. So like I said, me and Bad been locked in a long time. So it was just like, shit, he was like, bro, I got this record fool. Uh, and we shit, we just sat there, said them niggas like they drum god and Scott did it had like the beat going like the drums and shit going but he just wanted me to, to just feel feel the whole record like just bring this shit together type shit if it makes sense mm -hmm. and see we did what we did just sit there play play by the hour just play around with the sounds and shit for an hour the drums for an hour and shit we just made it that shit about like seven months old though. Oh wow. That yeah, shit old as hell. That's the crazy thing about this, this <laughs> yeah, business. Yeah, that shit old as hell. Yeah. No, fact. I know for y'all it's like it's annoying, but for people it's like, yo, what shit the, crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, about time this shit came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. So was uh Gorilla initially on the record or? Yeah, she was on the record. Okay. There was there, he was like, hey, I'm gonna put Gorilla on this hoe. Yeah. Like, All right, for sure. So it just, it just went from there. Okay. Dope, man. So yeah, the record is out right now. Y'all make sure y'all go stream that. Uh, any any last minute thing that that you want to announce that you want to tell everyone that's watching before we get out of here? See, twenty twenty three, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I like it, man. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's Cam Capone News. We'll see y'all. Peace. Yes, yeah. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button. Subscribe. And stay locked in to Cam Capone News.